Hey Hannah. You excited to go to St. Albans? Sure am. Hello everybody and welcome to uh, <laughs> our final vlog from when Hannah came to see me in like April of 2022. As a final hurrah, uh, on the way to the airport we went to St. Albans because that way we could kind of get to the airport so we wouldn't have to worry about like a massive journey but also we could hang around and not just sit there twiddling our thumbs feeling sad like sad sad little guys like sad sacks and speaking of sad sacks if you're watching this right now make sure to like subscribe and comment <laughs> let us know what you think and be sure to check out more of our fantastic vlog content it's not focusing but that's St. Albans so right now we're in St. Albans and one thing I find interesting about St. Albans is it's actually like the only city, the only city in the three counties area, which is Hearts, Bucks and Bedfordshire, which might not sound that interesting, but it's crazy when you realize there's like four million people in that area and lots of historically interesting stuff and culturally significant stuff. It's just north of London. There's only, yeah, there's like four million people and only one city. And it's a city because it has a cathedral. Where's Hannah? <laughs> Where's Hannah? <laughs> I'm just like in a river somewhere. <laughs> I need to like put a leash on you or something. Okay, Hannah, so the plan is... <laughs> I don't know why you... <laughs> I look like an egg. <laughs> why? <laughs> why I decided to wear my hair like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I know. Like, I'll say it <laughs> for everyone. I think it's also like um It's the angle too. Yeah, yeah. And like I think it's like for some reason like it's almost as if like your your face has moved and your head hasn't quite caught up with it. So it looks like your face is like too like it's skewed to the right of your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it's not fully on my neck. That's already funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny can't come back from that we go to saint michael's church which is a good name for a church we go to the open air roman theater then walk back maybe going past the roman wall if we see it and then saint Albans cathedral and then head back here and in the highly unlikely event that we have any time left we would then look around the museum, but I wouldn't bank on that. Guessing this is the way in? The probable summit of St. Albans Trail. So, Hannah, what did you think about this this little little baby church? It wasn't quite as impressive <laughs> as the uh, the Coventry churches. The church was not as like grand. Grand, yeah, that's a good word. Um, as the other ones that we've been to, but. I think there's also something nice about a small little yeah. village church. Yeah, it's a nice little community church. The kind <laughs> yeah, of I was church is, you know, it's not. It doesn't have to be all highfalutin. Little prayer corner. Little bump head moment. And it was still pretty. Like you know, like it still had the whole stained glass windows and all that jazz. Um, you know. Still pretty impressive in that way. And, you know, it's not really size that's the most important thing, is it, Hannah? <laughs> yeah, size that. doesn't... Size doesn't matter in this case. Yeah. Oh, lots of dinging. Goes right back to 1349. Sorry. Come on. Right. No, they're not bluebells. Forget me nots. Shan't be forgetting them anytime soon. Roman Theatre of Verulamium. Uh oh. They're charging for history. What's the world come to? Don't worry, my Zoom will overcome any admission prices. Dressing room. Yep, 
It's quite the theatre. So, St Albans was the third largest city in Roman Britain after which two cities, Hannah? Utica? No, cities. <laughs> I don't know. London oh. and Sirencester. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, I get what you're saying. You were thinking like after in a historical sense. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Because Boudicca burnt, burnt it down. Well, you can pronounce it either way. Boudicca or Bodicea. Depends if you want to do these newfangled pronunciations. So that's what it would look like. And that column there is a reconstruction to show, to show how big the theatre would have been. Or how tall. Which, to be honest, actually looking at it, it's like, okay, it's not that tall. You know? I mean, it's not bad. It's just not that tall. Dang, those bells are going yeah. crazy. Because a lot of the population of Britain wouldn't have spoken Latin or Greek, they wouldn't have understood plays with words in them, because they didn't really write many plays in their own language, and therefore the Romans, to entertain the masses, which is a pretty good way of maintaining your empire, uh, would do uh, pantomimus. So they could just act things out without saying anything, like a mime, and it would entertain people a lot more. So there we go, there's your, there's your origin of silent comedy. Romans trying to entertain a bunch of people without speaking the same language as them. Fab. There's an unfinished excavation. And there's a slightly more finished excavation. Second century townhouse. It's a lot like that farmhouse we saw. Look at this little complex. Nice little plant community. And I think that might be where their central heating came from. Because we do know they love their underfloor heating. They had it at the farmhouse too in uh, Milton Keynes. Oh, the zoom. Oh, and also another bird watching incident. <laughs> we do love our bird watching. Uh... Anyway, there's the shops. There's a cute little building, and there's a view. You gotta wonder why they decided to build everything so far below the um, the ground back in those days. <laughs> they thought, right, first thing we gotta do is dig a massive hole, and then start building. <laughs> wildlife gardening. Make your outside space a home for wildlife. Yes, yeah, so that might be the Roman walls. Yeah, which means actually, to be honest, yeah, walking now. Oh no, nah, no, nah, it's fine. We'll get to. The, we'll do everything that involves a long walk first. Yeah. And then when we get back, yeah, we can make a decision. There's Romans in their walls, and it looks like there's some information there, which is lovely. Love that for us. See down there. Uh, more, there's more hen chicks. Here, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, three of them. Oh. Oh, oh, they're cute. Oh, they're like little balls of fluff. Yeah. I thought we liked them. I thought we'd see them. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Count them. Oh, that one's friends with mummy. Pretty like it. I can hold on to my hat to stop it falling off. We kind of went to St Albans as like an afterthought kind of stop off place, but it was really nice when we were there. And yeah. it's definitely somewhere which I think I mentioned uh, I would like to go again to and do a much more kind of substantial visit. Uh, yeah, cause I think it is a very too. nice area. It's actually where my granddad lived. Um, so. There we go, I do have a connection to it. But then he died. They're looking! Hello! <gasps> He's a little wobbler! Look at his feet! Wait, I think they go in the part where I went wrong. Aww. Oh, there we go, that's the puddle. 
Oh. <laughs> it was so tiny. This is why this is why I aspire to be a um a amateur bird watching channel because they're just so <laughs> cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh look at what Oliver Cromwell stayed here. I'm mad for medieval gates me. There's the cathedral. Pretty elaborate. She can be, but she always stays out of frame. I just can't, there we go. We're trying to find the entrance. Hey, somebody's got a surname. Well, your surname. There's Grandad's gravestone. Uh, any flowers with me. <gasps> you horrible person. World War One Monument. Or memorial. The great gateway of the monastery was erected in 1360s and besieged in 1381 by the insurgents of the Peasants' Revolt. The third printing press in England is said to have been housed here in 1479. From 1553 till 1869 it was a local prison. Since 1871 it has formed part of St Albans School for a bunch of toffs. about England and France deciding to be friends. I don't, it's kind of hard to read it properly, but, and quite hard to hear me. Huh. I don't know, I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm not sure who's been doing that. Some of those are, Statues of modern day martyrs. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Huh. I think it, I don't know. It just seems to direct you to different places. Like here. No public access. Hey, wait a minute. Does this stop you from being able to see the uh, top of the ceiling? Uh, you know, the top of the tower? <laughs> this one probably fits better. There you go, I can't really see. Oh, whatever. There you go. At some point, we want to cross over to the other side because we haven't seen the other side, which I think we can do easily enough. I think I've forgotten how like elaborate the church was because there's like a lot of you know nice looking areas kind of tucked off to the side. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know how it compares to other cathedrals in terms of size, but it definitely did seem pretty damn big. Mm hmm. And yeah, uh, I, I think the, the Winchester one was bigger, right? 
Yeah, although of course, uh, it will be a long time until people see our vlog. Oh, of the winter, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, spoiler. Control, you know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was definitely helped in terms of like the experience of it by the fact there was that choir performing the whole time. Made yeah. it all a lot more beautiful, impressive, breathtaking, right. other adjectives. Um, and again, I mean, we had to rush through this. Like, uh, we, I think, got about a quarter of the way through and then the rest of it we just kind of walked through all of it uh so yeah when we go to st albans again i think we'll have to spend even more time at this cathedral which of course is not hard to justify because it was free love yeah. that i would oh my god imagine going to a service at like a cathedral like this that'd be crazy i know Ice cream. Oh, look at that little dog fan. Trip in the park. It's almost, could be said to be, sunny. I do want to walk the um, the other way around the lake, just for funsies. It's like crazy how there's like this green area, like right next to the city center. Yeah. Like it's like a huge green area, just right. Like considering it's such an old city too, like it's not some like modern city that was designed that way. It's like really convenient. Hmm. You can see the cathedral. It's got a small spire for a cathedral. So, Hannah, yes. are you excited at the prospect of coming to St. Albans again to see it in more detail? Yeah, I yeah. am. It's a really cute little town. City? City. It's not it's only town. is it a city, but as I said, I reckon at the start of this little vloggy vlog, um, it's quite possibly, I might be wrong about this, but it's quite possibly the only city in the Beds, Bucks, Hearts area. Um, and that is, as I also pointed out at the beginning of the vlog, an area that has about 4 million people living in it. So there's about 4 million people in one city. And you would imagine maybe with 4 million people in one city, that city would be some huge concrete jungle, dense whatever. But no, we're pretty much in the centre of it right now. Um, also, apparently, was a, a still still remained quite broken in terms of population and culture well after the rest of the Romans left because they had a nice, a nice handy wall to protect them. Eventually that wall was taken down and used to build other stuff, as is the way. Anyway, um, I suppose <sighs> there's... Well, there's not going to be much else to film, so I suppose we should also acknowledge the departure part of this, uh, of this little vloggy vlog. Yeah. Hannah's going back to America. Back home. You been feeling homesick? You been missing it? <laughs> um, a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, because this is your home really after all, <laughs> isn't it? This is my second home, I yeah. would say. So, You'll feel more homesick when you get to America. You'll be like, oh, like oh. I miss the, the home comforts of England. Where are uh, my fish and chips? Yeah. Where are my fish cakes? Yeah, so. <laughs> well, where, then. where are my chocolate digestives? Oh yeah, you will miss that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you want to say bye bye, Hannah? Bye. Hopefully you have enough footage to last until we see each other again. Oh, <laughs> that's Wait, a funny line. Hopefully we have enough footage to last until we see each other again. In other words, like hopefully we have enough footage that we'll be able to put out vlogs for the next four months. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's taken yeah, us like a year think... <laughs> to edit it all. I think we're covered. Well, we're alone again. I didn't film Hannah leaving. She's gone. I love you, Hannah. When you watch this. Now walk 
walking back to the car and I don't think there's going to be anything else to film until, well I don't know, until she's back I guess. It's uh, emotional, it's heavy. Uh, I know, you didn't film me actually leaving. I know, yeah, that is interesting actually. It was probably because it was too much for me to bear. Also maybe because I didn't want the last thing you saw of me to be me just like with a camera in front of my face. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, ultimately, I guess we finally we finally got through a whole trip in the oh on the goodness. vlog channel. Yeah. And yeah, just just two two more two more to go, and then see how long that takes. Uh, of course, if you want to see those, obviously subscribe, like this video if you liked it, all that jazz. Uh. Bye. Bye.